there's a coyote. Coyote out there. Crazy. I wanted to start today's vlog off by sharing a major key. Persistence. I remember when I first started vlogging and I was posting my vlogs. I probably got three vlogs up, realized I posted it to the wrong YouTube channel and deleted all my edits. So what that meant was they were on the wrong channel, I could no longer re-upload them to the my correct channel. And I just remember sitting in the cafeteria that day thinking, holy crap, I am so done with YouTube. So I almost quit that day, I didn't. So I re-uploaded them, edited them, and then realized I'd used music that was copyright infringed. So two of the three videos could not even be used. They were blocked worldwide. I almost quit that day. About a thousand times, I can't even keep track, I'd be working on a project, it would be, I would have hours invested, and all of a sudden my computer would glitch out, something would fail, the memory card would get ejected, and the project would be scrambled. There has been so many times where I've been wanting to quit, and it's only been through persistence that I've kept going. And the same has been going with sponsorship. You don't just send one email and expect to get a accepted offer and if you learn anything you'll learn that corporate structure slows down everything it takes forever to hear back now I'm not actually here to announce that I've gotten any sponsorship I've not actually heard back from them yet because that's just how things go things are going snails pace it's it's almost it's almost torture it's so bad but anyways what I did hear back today was I am going to Colorado from June 7th to June 12th with the GoPro team now the reason I bring up persistence is because GoPro has been no different than my sponsorship requests. I have been sending them stuff for ages, for so, so long, and I have never, ever gotten anything accepted. And I have been, there's been so many times where I've just wanted to turn around and say, you know what, I'm done sending them stuff, they're not even looking at it. But I kept sending, I kept sending, I put my ego aside, and eventually something stuck. Yesterday I got a comment on one of my videos being like congrats on winning the GoPro contest and I was like I have no idea what you're talking about and so I started talking to this guy turns out my eight months in Asia video won the best GoPro video for the last three months of 2015 and what that means is me and one other guy who won the best photo of those three months are gonna be going to Colorado to see the Vail Mountain Games which is gonna be like downhill biking and all that cool stuff so I'm ecstatic I woke up this morning I'm feeling a little bit revitalized because you put out so much stuff and only like a bit of it ever clicks and so when you finally get that thing that works it feels so good so I gotta say persistence is key you have to keep sending you have to keep posting uploading videos whatever it is you want to do you have to keep doing it it's only through doing things over and over and over again that you get better at it and people start noticing and that could not be any truer for vlogging. I just got kicked out of my house. My mom has her Bible study and all the ladies are getting together. So I'm not welcome. I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm gonna go finish editing a vlog at Starbucks. I am in line here at Tim Hortons and look at these. Okay, the autofocus is so irritating. Win Gangier Cafe. There's nothing more exciting in life than when you win a free coffee. You go get your coffee and then you win another prize. Already off to an amazing morning, so I don't see why we can't win the car. Let's do it, baby. To start my exciting morning off, I'm getting a free haircut. I got this voucher for a free haircut. Woo! Now that is a veteran you do not want to mess with. The guy's probably like 80 years old and he's still 4 by 4 ing Now that's a hero. Just got my fresh new cut and now I'm heading to Starbucks and I need to get connected to the internet in the next five minutes because I've got a Google Hangout with YouTube. Today's Hangout is all about analytics and I will share any knowledge that has dropped on me. I am on a winning streak. I just want a donut. Woohoo! So this is pretty cool. Basically, I am now in the Google Hangout and these are all other people with channels through YouTube. So you can chat with them there and it says it starts at 11.05. I just finished the Google Hangout with YouTube and it was actually extremely beneficial. I learned a lot about analytics, but I am running to the gym right now. So I'll let you guys know more about that in a bit. I was just telling Laura, I don't know what's going on. I think there must be something going into our water here in the White Rock South Surrey area because my gym is just out of control. I mean, the you've never seen so many fitness freaks in one place in your life. Everyone seems like they're on steroids. I mean, the dudes have 24 inch biceps. The ladies have washboard abs of a 13 year old. It's just insane. 
I've always had the theory that having Instagram and all these forms of social media so close to us at all times has been bad for our personal self-esteem and psyche. And I think this is just my theory, but I, my theory is that having all these things and seeing the you know ideal man or the ideal woman 24 seven has made us think that we have to be this buff dude or this skinny jacked woman with a big butt. And I don't know, I don't think it's that healthy. I think that's what's in my theory is going on at a lot of gyms, especially this gym here I go to. So I just wanna apologize in advance for being such a macho man, you guys. Don't feel like you have to be as macho as me. I cannot for the life of me figure out where her kid went. Good luck. You've got a fast car, and I've got my mom's minivan. I said I would get to the Google Analytics today. So I had that meeting with Google Analytics, and I know that I said I'd go over it later today. I am so, so busy at the moment, and I'm rushing downtown. Um, so tomorrow, I decided that that's what I'll do a full vlog on. My entire vlog will be on Google Analytics, and we'll go through my stats, and we'll dissect what's going well, what's not, and basically how you can use this information to help your channel. So right now, I am heading downtown, and I'm meeting with a guy by the name of Jeffrey. I was actually teaching a managerial accounting class with about 35 to 40 students in each class, and so I had two sections, and Jeffrey was in one of them. And Jeffrey had obviously seen that I'm doing my YouTube thing these days, and so he reached out to me. He told me about his website, and Jeffrey has a website um, by the name of Canadian Kilometers, and I'll give you guys a whole lot more information after we meet tonight. His website is all about maximizing air miles, aeroplan miles, how to use your credit cards to upgrade your seat from you know economy to business class for under $100. Just those kind of flight hacks. And I checked his Instagram page and the guy is literally, he, he posted like $300 flight and he's sitting in one of those private booths flying with Air Emirates to Dubai. So, so Jeffrey obviously knows what he's doing and he's kind of figured out maybe it's the loopholes or just the way to maximize credit cards. Either way, I want to know how he's doing. I'm just going to park the van, go onto the bus because the bus is actually going to be a lot faster to get downtown and I am running pretty late right now. arrived at Cactus Club where I'm meeting Jeffrey. Yeah. Alright, Laura just dropped me off at the van here in the park and ride. I'm just gonna head home now and when I get home I'll tell you a little bit about my meeting tonight. It is like 12.30 right now. I just finished editing three videos for my dad. Busy, busy day. Good day though. From finding out that I'm going to Colorado with the GoPro team to meeting with Jeffrey. And I'm not going to go into too much detail. So as I mentioned, I was meeting Jeffrey and he specializes in maximizing aeroplan miles and air miles. He shared a lot of information with me. A lot of it went over my head, like I left our dinner with more questions than I had answers. I'm actually going to be linking Jeffrey's blog down below. If you guys want to find out more about it, find out about how he went in the $14,000 seat where he basically had his own shower, his own little private suite from a flight from San Francisco to Dubai. So this guy knows what he's doing. It was one of those things that there wasn't one rule fits all, so it's not like he told me Okay, you get this credit card and then you start spending this and then you buy this. It doesn't work that way. So let's say you wanted to go to Mexico or if you wanted to go to Thailand, it's going to be different for each flight. So you have to be able to be opportunistic because every time he sees deals, he jumps on them. It's not like there's a plain rule of thumb that this thing is always going to result in a deal. So one of the biggest takeaways was this concept called churning. And what churning is, is let's say you get a 40,000 aeroplan signing bonus with Amex. Well, go get that credit card, use the 40,000 bonus and use it only for flights. 
once you've used those 40,000 points, you can actually cut that credit card up and reapply for a new one within a reasonable amount of time. So, you know, six months to 11 months. And what you're doing is you're getting that 40,000 signing bonus again. There's almost no penalty because he was explaining to me how a credit score works and it actually barely impacts your credit score um, to get a new credit card. I'll be doing a lot more research. I'll be reading up on his blog a whole lot more. And if I get any good tips, I will be sharing those with you guys. But uh, definitely was really cool. He definitely opened up my eyes to the potential of collecting these miles because for so long I've been booking flights, I've been buying things with my credit cards, and I have not been collecting points like I should have. So anyways, that's the end of today's vlog. I will see you guys in tomorrow's, and tomorrow's will be all about YouTube analytics, so you will not want to miss that one. See you guys tomorrow.